Hello guys, another video from my car as every Saturday, not directly about Laravel but more broadly about coding career. And topic of today is debugging and my advice is related to those situations when you are stuck debugging some error for a longer time, like half an hour or an hour and you feel stuck and you don't know the solution and you need external help. The thing is that quite often the bug is not in the place when you're looking for it. So, for example, if the bug is pointing to something wrong in Blade template, quite often the data for the Blade template is wrong and the data may be compiled somewhere earlier in the controller or service class or something. And quite often I get the questions on my YouTube channel or Twitter or elsewhere. Someone is sending the code snippet and asking me, what is wrong with that? Can you fix my error? And from that code snippet, I don't know the error reason. And I cannot help that person. For example, they are showing me the blade file or blade component or something like that. And I don't see where the data is coming from. And obviously the data is wrong, but they are not giving me that information because obviously they are looking at the blade file without digging deeper where that blade data comes from. And actually debugging as a whole is a separate probably set of skills or skill for a developer. Quite often to answer your questions about what is wrong with your application, I would need to debug the full project. So go step by step, trace the data, trace the patterns, trace the classes, and then see the reason. It's often pretty hard or even impossible to answer your questions just from one snippet from one of Laravel files. So if you are stuck on some debugging, try to get up, like walk around and in a few minutes come back to the problem and try to look elsewhere. Try to look at a different file. Try to debug step by step and see what files are intermediate. Maybe it touches some internal class, maybe some package, maybe something that you've missed in earlier debugging session. And if you do need help from someone, the best way is to send them the GitHub repository with full code and that professional person would know what to look for probably, or they would be able to launch the project locally. Probably for that you would need to pay some money because it's not just one line answer, it's actually spending the time for debugging. So it's much more time consuming and energy consuming. Unfortunately, in most cases, I don't have enough time for that. So I can answer only quick questions, but generally prepare that other person, that external helper for a debugging session. And quite often, they would find the bug and they would find the reason of that bug elsewhere in another place than you were looking for. That's why the so-called fresh pair of eyes really works. Like for example, in any family situation, you cannot find some item in your home like keys or something and someone else just looks at the room with fresh pair of eyes and finds them easily. Same with the code. What do you think about my tip? Have you ever found yourself in the situation where you found the bug reason elsewhere than you were previously looking or someone else got to your code and pointed you to right direction, which was different from where you were looking for? Share your stories in the comments. That's it for this time and see you guys in other videos.